Howdy everyone, Pocha here with an Age of Magic video. In today's video, we are going to use Denea um, to combat a pretty popular team that I'm seeing in Clan Wars a lot. Uh, it's the Magnus Artis Lucky team. Uh, it has a lot of sustain. People are using it as a defense team to uh, hope their enemy runs out of time and that wastes the attack of the enemy. Uh, you don't lose anything because you, you're still in your defense position, so it's a pretty annoying team. So the main idea of the team we're going to use is Denea. Super important. Uh, Bellara, obviously. We'll go into the characters, but the two main ones are going to be Denea and Pig Boy. Now, why are we going to use Pig Boy? Pig Boy is going to be very helpful to this fight. Number one is, well, the main reason is because of his Piglet Squill ability. As you can see, it applies the Boss Mark, which is going to help us tremendously. Uh, and is the ability damages all enemies and removes the ability to counter attack, which is really good against um, artists because he can apply counter attack to his allies. So you can remove that, uh, reducing the damage you take. Increases chance of dealing critical attacks to an enemy by 40% and becomes able to attack hidden enemies for two turns. The hidden part doesn't matter, not important, but it's the increases the de uh, dealing critical attacks uh, by enemies, uh, in increases the chance of a applying a critical hit by 40%. But if you go down, you'll also see that the boss mark, when triggered, puts a boss mark on all enemies. Critical damage from the next boss attack increases to 30%. The target will also take 20% more damage from critical hits for two turns. And guess who can pop that? Ballara. So she's able to do a lot of damage through critical strikes when you trigger this mark. And, um, and so does everyone else who critically strikes. 20% more damage from critical strikes. Uh, and the boss attack increases to 30%. The damage increases to 30%. So yeah, a lot of damage. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go into the fight. We'll see how it plays out. I'm going to do two battles. Um, one, you will see why. One of them is if you can apply the accuracy decrease to the Tyros on the enemy team. And the second fight shows what happens if you can't apply the accuracy decrease. So we'll head over and watch the battle. So going into battle, we have Denea, Silver Moon, Pig Boy, Swamp, uh, not Swamp Killer, Bilara, and Shadow. You're not going to three star this fight. It's as simple as that. But like I said, I haven't lost it yet. So what we're going to do is we are going to decrease the accuracy of Tyros with Arik and Shadow. We are going to Denea's battle cry on our allies, get our stats up, and then we are going to use Horror of the Forest on the enemy Sacrif, and then we are going to use. Piglet Squeal. <clears throat> now why Piglet Squeal is good is because it puts the mark up on the enemy, which when triggered by Denea increases the crit damage done. Now that's not going to affect Magnus, but it's going to help us take out Lucky. We're going to auto attack with Silver Moon. And we're just going to auto attack for a little bit now. Uh, just auto attack. We just want to auto attack till Belara's turn comes back around. Uh, we're going to put Counter Strike up. And now we're going to get rid of the taunt with Ballara using Swamp Curse. And now we're going to go straight on to Lucky. Now we're going to do a fair bit of damage to her. I'm going to put her on two times speed and show you. Uh, we'll hit her for a fourth again. Now we haven't triggered the mark yet, but that'll be when Denea comes up. We're going to use the anti heal on her. Uh, we're going to use our Silver Moon's Water of Life. And then we're going to use our big move, Red Fury. Uh, oh, we got rid of the mark. Damn it! It doesn't matter. We still, we still take her out. Super easy. Uh, <clears throat> so you probably don't even need to use the anti heal because your turn's going to come around before Lucky. If you want to secure the kill, just don't use the anti heal on Shadow. Go back up to four times speed. As you can see, we've lost a fair bit of health, but that's fine. Uh, Silver Moon's still alive, and with Silver Moon, we are going to. Uh, we're going to go into Magnus next. The Silver Moon alive, we are going to. We're just going to attack Magnus until we take him out, increase our stats, get our next heal out. Uh, again, use Piglet Squill. And our attack's going to be up a lot because we have our Forest Shamans, which reduce the cooldown of our abilities. Get the counter attack up. As you can see, we're just doing a lot of damage. If I three star, I haven't actually been able to three star this fight yet, but it looks like we may be on the right track. Uh, let's lock down Sakharov. Use the accuracy decrease, which is going to miss because of dodge. Yep. Cool. Alright, now, can how much damage are we going to do? Let's have a look. There's about 900k there. 
And we should just be able to finish her off. Yep, awesome. And then we can finish off Tyros. He's going to do his spin in a moment. That's fine though, it doesn't bother me. There it is. Uh, we probably could have waited actually and used uh, Swamp Killer, uh, not Swamp Keeper, Bellara to decrease the. Um, or lock him down so his passive won't work. We still got a minute 50 on the clock. We're going to use whatever we whatever we want here. It doesn't really matter at this point. And, um, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Two star. I probably could have three star that actually if I, I realized Bellara's ability was coming back around. Uh, that might have been pretty cool. But, um, yeah. With, uh, with Pig Boy and the team, you can do a lot of damage with crits. Obviously, not going to crit Magnus because he's uncritable. But... He's still able to do a lot of damage. You can take it at Lucky pretty quick as long as you you rotate that at first set of moves. Um, it can be a bit iffy if your accuracy decrease doesn't land on the Tyros, but I've still won the battle when that has happened. I'm sure you can lose. I'm not going to say this team is a 100% chance to win, um, but there you go. That's a team you can use, and it utilizes Pig Boy, a character that I don't think has been used properly in a team yet so uh we'll go in have a look at the team again just to see if i can pull it off again if anything happens differently and yeah okay so we're going into this battle now i'm going to purposely not use the accuracy decrease on tyrus to begin with in case that happens to you when you miss it and we'll see if we can still win um i did have done this battle once already and i did lose it so after the last fight which i recorded i did try it without the accuracy decrease and we did lose so what we are going to do off the bat is we are going to lower the accuracy on um magnus we'll just go magnus okay uh we're going to put counter attack up because we are going to get hit and then we are going to lock down the sacrif get piglet squeal out we want the mark up Okay, and we're going to use the invulnerability because we are about to take a lot of damage from Tyros. He's going to get two lots of turns, and he does have the potential to kill someone. So there we go. So pretty good spot right now. Now we no, oh, I used it on the wrong person. Damn it. Um. Okay, so we've made a mistake here. Let's see if we can recover from it. Anti heal on. Yeah, you see, now yeah, we've got the taunt up, which we should have been able to avoid. Um, I'm still going to play this battle out. Let's get the piglet squeal out again. Uh, maybe we can get lucky. No. Uh, we're just going to take out Magnus, I guess. That is our option there. And Tyros dies as well. Brings back Tyros. Good. I'd rather lucky bring back Tyros than... Oh, I guess I... No. That's not true. I'd probably rather she bring back um, Magnus, to be honest. But there we go. We've taken out Lucky as well. We've got um, our team still intact on the field. Depending on Bellara's ability. Okay, we're going to... Damn, we missed it. Okay. I'm just going to take out Sakura Piglet Squeal again. That's probably going to kill you. Yeah, damn it. I didn't think that would kill him. Okay. Um... We're pretty set here. There we go. I'm just going to put it on auto. And uh, we still lose someone. Maybe we could have saved them if we played it on uh, manual. But uh, there you go. Auto. We still won it. Two stars. Um, it's a pretty safe team. Not guaranteed to win. Uh, you have a high chance of losing if the accuracy decrease does not land. However, it does a lot of damage. Uh, the survivability, you've only got one healer, which is the downfall. So you need to react to the fight. If you land the accuracy decrease on the Tyros to begin with, don't use your healing abilities with um, um, Silver Moon because it's just going to be a waste. Uh, Tyros isn't going to use his abilities if his accuracy is decreased. That means if you use your invulnerability and your waters of life, I think it's called, with Silver Moon, you're going to heal for damage that isn't being dealt. If you miss the accuracy decrease, then you can go ahead and use the um, her abilities because Tyrus is going to use his abilities and do a lot of damage and you need to survive. The Piglet Squeal is super important to get that extra critical damage out if you are able to crit. 
Um, but his other ability does a lot of damage as well, and I forget what his other ability does. Um, but it can do a lot of damage as well. Um, so it's a pretty solid team. Uh, you've obviously got Danae and Bellara of their, you know, they're just essential for barbarian builds. Uh, Bellara with her lockdowns and removing buffs and skill lockdown. Uh, and you've got Danae who just tremendous help. Counter attack increases stats. Um, she can do a lot of damage and most importantly, she can trigger that pig boy's mark so that critical strikes do do more damage. So it's a great combination of characters. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I answer to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.